This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Tunisia has authorized the parents of children with autism to break the general lockdown rules. Experts say that parenting a child with special needs is challenging when they are forced to stay indoors. CGTN's Adnan Shawashi has more from Tunis. Ryan is a 14-year-old child with autism. He's a very caring person with his family. The general lockdown in the country has forced him to stay at home. This decision has become a nightmare for many parents. Children with autism cannot be forced to sit at home. It's the worst experience because they like to play in open spaces, to run and to have fun. Staying indoors between four walls during confinement is simply impossible. Following an online campaign by the parents and civil society activists, thousands of children with autism were finally authorized by the Interior Ministry to leave their home at any time of the day. My son and all the children with autism did not understand the new measures. He often asks for playing in the park during the night curfew. He's unconscious. That's why parents have looked for a special authorization to take the kids out in the morning. Yamina Haji is the director of a specialized school and the founder of Halim Center for Children with Autism. She argues that the general lockdown is having negative consequences on these children with special needs. Unfortunately, children with autism are isolated in this period while they already suffer from communication and interaction problems. Our educational environment and healthcare service help the child and the parents. However, the lockdown has made us lose in one month the good behavioral results we achieved in three years. Activists have launched an electronic platform to provide care to children with autism. The initiative is a cooperation project between civil society organizations in Tunisia, Algeria, Libya, Morocco, Mauritania, Oman and Egypt. 150 experts are now giving daily interactive courses and delivering distance training through WhatsApp to secure a continued care for children with autism, whose families cannot handle without the contribution of professionals during the lockdown period. Adnan Shawashi, CGTN, Tunis.